Yeah. All right. Oh yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about the main stand, if that's all right with you. Not the main stand, the Anfield Road end. Say, well, it's all linked. It's all, it, it's all linked, isn't it? They're all linked together. Um, well, I mean, a bit of background, first of all. There's something called the Supporters Committee, for people who don't know. We meet every three months with Liverpool Football Club. They've been elected by fans. They've put themselves forward. And so, first of all, you've got to say fair enough to that, because I wouldn't do it for a big clock. Um, you know, you a bit of a glutton for punishment um, on a... I would, I would, I wouldn't say it's a, it's a no-win situation because they have had some wins, but it's not, a, you know, it's a, it's a difficult thing to do for the people who put themselves forward. So. Why did you ask my question? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um, and why, why haven't you sorted out everything? Yeah. Um, why haven't we signed the left back? <laughs> so fair play to first of all to the people on supporters club committee who do do it. Uh, we put themselves forward. They, they meet with the club every three months. And there's various people from from Liverpool Football Club attendees, depending on what's what's on and 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 how busy people are and stuff like that. This one was pretty well attended. To be fair, Ian Air was there. Uh, Phil Dutton was there. Who's had a ticket in? Uh, Susan Black, who's had a communications, and also Billy Hogan, who's uh, um, FSG's man, you'd, you'd say, wouldn't you? He's a, he's officially commercial operator, but I think he's a lot he's a lot more than that. So yeah, good turnout from the club, which shows the 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 uh, well, try, taking it seriously as as, um, as as they can, I suppose, or you know, things like that. They're taking it seriously anyway. And the minutes came out yesterday, um, sort of late yesterday, because they do release the minutes of these things. There was twenty one questions asked on this occasion, or twenty one questions approved for the agenda and one of them was about the Anfield Road. Uh, that was quite a, uh, a long-winded intro, but, you know, all, all the information's there. And one was about the Anfield Road, and basically he was asked about it, and it was reinforced that they're not, they're not sure, which we sort of knew, but it was interesting to hear Ian name confirm that, that they weren't sure whether they're going to do it. They've got pre-planning permission, which means... You know they're able to do it if they want to, but but there's no kind of commitment there. Is that to like do having it. a reservation at a restaurant without confirming the date? I guess so. Yeah, I, I, I guess so. So right. you can do it if they want. There'll be things that they'll need to do. I'm sure still with 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 the council and stuff like that. Um, if they want to do it, but it, but in theory, the, the um, Liverpool City Council have agreed that they can they can do this extension. In a reckon it's going to cost between sixty and seventy million pounds. Uh, which first of all seems quite a lot to me. Uh, someone pointed out uh, before on Twitter the whole stadiums have been built for less than that, but uh, not anymore. Maybe steel and all that uh, Brexit, but uh, <laughs> six, sixty to seventy million pounds. Uh, he reckons it's going to cost, and he's put an estimate on that that that'll take us fifteen years to pay off, and he's wondering whether that's worth it, worth the investments. So they're looking at other ways to do it to say they can't do any corporates in there, which obviously makes it harder to pay the money back and. I don't know, I'm just wondering where you are on it really, Andy, because, you know, it, it looks to me that they're looking for a way out on it. Yeah, well, I mean, when they first introduced the plans, I mean, the prevailing wind was... You never guaranteed that they No, did. it was always... I would be surprised if they do the Anfield Road anyway. Um, which is a shame, because, I mean, on one side they're saying lack of corporates, etc, etc, but, you know... <laughs> It, hasn't everyone been crying out to get more people in the game? You know, if, yeah. you, if you can only fill it with either lower or mid-range seats. And if it takes 15 years to pay back, as long as it's paying for it to, for itself, you know, if they, the way that they've done an interest-free loan for the main stand, yeah. so you're not telling me they couldn't do it, you know, for, for the Anfield Road end and say, OK, well, we're going to loan the money and it can pay for itself back out the extra income. So effectively, you're not really losing any kind of money. And they've got the reserves to do it. Yeah, I mean, it's. I guess it's got to remember that FSG is 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 a much wider group, and it's not just the guys involved day to day in Liverpool. And so maybe they're thinking, well, you know, it's investors basically. It's an investment group, and so there's people in this investment group who are, who are bothered about Liverpool Football Club, and there's people who aren't. And the, you know, the people who've got the majority of control are, but you know, they still need to kind of sell it to the to investors. Yeah. So, so if they've got if they if they go to their people and say, look, we want to give an interest free loan for the main stand, but we get the money back in four or five years, and also, you know, it's 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 really it's helping it's helping with 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 our investment. Then then they might they they might go yeah, all right. But then going to them, the same people to say, oh yeah, now we want to do the Anfield Road. It's a fifteen year interest fee investment, and and it won't increase the value of the club by by as much. Then I guess what they're concerned is if people start going, well, hang on, you know, can't we charge interest? Isn't the better ways of using seventy million pounds of our money? And I guess I guess I guess that's the situation. They're looking at it from an FSG point of view that they're in. But I, I don't buy it that it wouldn't put value on the club. I, I don't buy it that if. if I think it would put value on the club. I, but you've got like a sixty-five thousand seats, a stadium, or whatever it takes. I, I don't think that that wouldn't put the 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 reflecting the value of the club, and especially I mean we go back to John Henry's initial interviews when he took over at Liverpool, and he was like, you know. 
you're not in sports to make money. The, the underlying tone of that was it was generally about the, the value of the asset, which let's not forget uh, if the figures are right, being bandied around around potential interest of the club, yeah, has trebled in the yeah, past two years, yeah, and doubled yeah. and doubled in a year. Yeah, conservatively, you know? <clears throat> a conservative estimate trebled really, considering yeah. what they paid. So I mean, there's that, th and we'd already planned the main stand by by that point. And then the other the other side of it is, you know, they, they went and done the main stand without this mythical 90 million in naming rights for that too. So I think it's kind of a fudge. I, I don't think it's a shame that it won't get done. Um, I think it's short term, isn't it? I think long term, we, we, we do need more than what we've got. I mean, don't get me wrong, the main stands, it, look, it looks great, you know, and people are happy with it. It's, it's improved the atmosphere and... So why wouldn't you want more of that? I mean, my personal opinion, if you ask me, you're going to ask me, aren't you? What would you do with Anfield, Andy? What would you do with Anfield, Andy? I wouldn't do Danny Road. Do you know what I'd do? What? I'd put proper investments in infrastructure. If it could be done, and we're told by MetLines that it could be done, one of our followers is a city planner, I'd do the cop, because I think the cop looks too small. I'd bend the road round and push the cop right back. Okay. That's what I'd do. That's what I'd do. I'd make it one bit, and then you... People talk about the yellow wall and one thing, the other, you build something too. Maybe not as big as that, but to match that, because Dortmund's done it. Dortmund's done it. Dortmund have got a lot of space around that ground. We've been, there's a lot, there's, there's nothing there, is there, really? There's a lot of room. Apart from our hotel. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that, that, was, that was a struggle look, but... Uh... But, the, but there's room behind the cop. I mean, the, the only no, obstruction the is the road. Yeah, so you, you're not telling me civil engineers couldn't work that I don't know, I'm, I mean, I'm not a civil engineer. I'm just saying it, 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 is, it, is, it is trickier, isn't it? And, and you've got to, you know, there would have to... You'd have to be looking at other things yeah. and, 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 and stuff like that. You know, you might have to flatten the Alberts. I don't know. Maybe the Alberts would be all right. Uh, park, <laughs> park might be in trouble. Um, well, yeah, but it's the park, isn't it? <laughs> but, but what I'm saying, in the grand scheme of things, that's safe for arguments like the do the Annie Road. I think I'd always, I thought it'd be a bit weird to have like the cop. It's like the smallest stand in the, you know, yeah. in the ground. Always thought like, you know, especially if you're walking down Mountain Breck and the, the massive behemoth stand yeah. sticking out. But yeah, I think that. I think the, the the blaming it on finance is a little bit disingenuous, to be honest. I just think um, I just don't think they've got the will to do it. I think yeah, I think I think the will is lacking a bit. I think they they're not looking at it as a, as, a, as a big enough kind of win for them. Really, I think I think that's kind of a little bit disappointing, and and it's and it's a shame that because because when you look at ENA's figures and you kind of study them a little bit, it just looks like they've. They've, they've said, well, how much is a scene to get on average about 800 quid? How much is it going to cost? And, and, and divided one by the other and, and come up with 15 years. And it just, well, where's, what, where's all the other benefits of having, you know, extra people in the ground? Where's the benefits in terms of the atmosphere? Where's the benefits in terms of things you might buy? Where's the benefit of hooking a kid in for life, you know, who's, who, can, who can go to the game, who, who maybe can't get a ticket at the moment, is struggling because, you know, these these, these games are, are selling out very, very quickly this season, you know, it helps that we're playing well, but, you know, where, where's, where's the benefits of, of, of helping like a young kid get a, get a ticket for his first league game and then suddenly, you know, you've got a customer for life if you want to view it that way and it's, and it's just kind of, Dividing ticket sales by by cost just doesn't kind of seem right to and me. It's really. the money you spend in the ground as well, isn't it? Yeah, a, yeah. I mean, they, they they blamed the cost per seat a couple of years ago, quite famous. I, I wrote something on the site actually, if you want to read it. You know, so it's not just your ticket in; you can buy a seven pound burger if you want. You know, the, the choice is all the choice is all yours. I I I don't know. I sorry, my phone's going there. Uh, so we're interrupting this video. I don't know. Would you do it? I mean, I'm going to ask you a question now, honestly. Do you think the ticket protest last year and the attitude of fans, their perceived attitude of fans that they don't want to pay more, do you think that's had a bearing no, on it? No, I don't. I think, I think that was a bit of an excuse. I think I think you came up with a bit of an excuse there. I don't I don't think it's... You know, you're talking... You know, the, amount, the amount of difference that they made in, in ticket prices this year, is, it's about two million quid. It's, it's, it's nothing in the, in the kind of grand scheme of things, really. I think, I think you know, there might be a bit of a thing if they realise that, you know, they can't just kind of charge what they want and get away with it. Well, well, well good, if they've realised that, you know what I mean? But I don't think, I don't think that's how they're looking at it, really. I think, I think the naming rights for the main stands maybe come as a bit of a shock to them. They, they, they haven't managed to sell that. I think the fact that they're, they're struggling a little bit selling the corporate ones, there was big gaps of a hole, might come for a of a shop because they're saying no, they won't be able to do corporate in Anfield Road. I'm sure the plan was to do a little bit. You know, they're not shy about putting people in tents in Stanley Park and things no. like that, and then, and then walking them over and charging them 150 quid. So if they could get away with that, they would. So maybe that's come as a little bit of a surprise to them. And so, so I just, I just think although the main stand development's gone really, really well in terms of 
how it looks and the reaction to it and getting more people in the ground and the atmosphere and things like that. In terms of corporate sales, maybe maybe it's not done quite what they thought it would do. And then, and then obviously there's the knock on to the other side of the centenary stand, which I don't know whether, you know, if, if everyone just kind of moves over, then you've got gaps on the centenary, then then, then what's, what's kind of that about? So I don't know. I, I, I think that's a little bit of an excuse personally. Fair enough. Me and all tend to agree with him. Uh, uh, but no, we did. We, I mean, look, we'll, we'll, we'll wrap this up now. I'm wrapping your your video up here. It's not my video. But um, we do need to get more kids in the ground. Yeah, and look, uh, you know, it can sound like you're having a go at FSG, and people can say that. And I think, I think mean FSG is seven out of ten. If you want me to, you want me to do match ratings on owners. I think the seven out of ten. <laughs> I think they've done a lot of good stuff. You just kind of get frustrated that they won't go a little bit further for you, and you know, we'll, we'll just do a little bit more. And, and some of the wins seem quite easy, and some of them are hard. And no one's saying that redeveloping the ground is one of the easy ones. But you know, it, you know, if they if they want to, you know be the best possible owners if they want to make the club as great as it possibly can be then it, then it, it feels to me that, that this is something that they, they, they do need to find a way to make it happen so uh so well hopefully they will and what else did you watch England last night no i didn't i was uh out uh last night um shame didn't win for jordan um his captaincy is a uh, <laughs> been called into question already i wrote something about john henderson yesterday on the site it went up quite late so if you haven't had the chance here uh do have a look it was quite good even if i do say so myself uh i McAteer went up today, by the way. McAteer's show has gone up today, and he's just put it up. Apparently, it's really good. I've not heard it yet, but apparently, that's great. He's got a book out, and he had a chat with Neil, and was, and was very honest about about a few things, um, including mental health, which is um, a bit of a theme um, running through a few of our shows at the moment. And oh yeah, one thing I wanted to mention: uh, Hugo Boss, a new sponsor of Liverpool. There's a lovely picture of all the, all the Liverpool players um, in new Hugo Boss suits. Um, we're going to the FBA Awards in November. Um, <laughs> When's our fin? So if, if Hugo Boss want to get his touch, we will we will wear <coughs> your brand with pride. Um, you know, come down, Sean will look Sean will look Boss in a Hugo Boss suit. Um, so yeah, come down. You know what I mean. We're not too proud. We'll we'll we'll, we'll wear it as well. We're, we're practically part of the club. Are we flying with Malaysia Airlines to the awards? Are we? We'll we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it off anyone. And, and by dough we mean free stuff. Um, <laughs> so there you are. We'll leave it there. Uh, thanks very much. It was PT tomorrow.